Republicans on the House Oversight Committee saying one way or another, they will get records regarding Hunter Biden's overseas business dealings. The lawmakers are now reportedly threatening to reveal the identities of Hunter's mysterious art buyers after he missed a deadline this week to turn over the financial documents. Miranda Devine is a New York Post columnist and a Fox News contributor. She joins us now. Miranda, if they do decide to go ahead and do that, it may take a while because the art dealer certainly isn't cooperating by telling the committee who the clients were. But if they do eventually manage to get the names and release them, do you expect that that would be revealing? Well, I don't know. I mean, it may be. I'm not sure if uh, we're going to see something as obvious as, you know, President Xi buying one of Hunter's paintings at an inflated price. Um, but what we do see here is a fair amount of contempt and arrogance towards uh, Congress, towards the Oversight Committee. And uh, it, it, whether or not James Comer goes down the January 6 Nancy Pelosi line will be very interesting because, remember, uh, Steve Bannon was convicted and sentenced to four months in jail for defying a subpoena from the January 6 committee. Peter Navarro was arrested and put in leg irons in a jail cell, uh, again, for ignoring a subpoena. So uh, I, I, now James Comer is saying he's going to subpoena Hunter Biden and perhaps his art dealer. So let's see how tough they're going to be and if they're going to match the January 6 uh, committee. Not quite sure that they've made a final decision on that yet, but they say that they may have to as a last resort. One of the big questions, of course, is, as you pointed out, inflated prices. Uh, who would buy any of Hunter Biden's art in the first place? Uh, Michigan Congresswoman Lisa McLean told Fox News, quote, Hunter Biden's artwork isn't worthy of hanging on the walls of a foreclosed motel. So why would anyone buy it? The answer is simple, to curry favor with the corrupt son of the president. This has been portrayed by Democrats as a witch hunt of Hunter Biden. But if there was some influence peddling here that involved the president, does it not behoove the Oversight Committee to at least look into it? Absolutely. Uh, look, I don't think that the paintings are that bad, and maybe there are people who want to buy them for notoriety reasons as much as mm -hmm. uh, for, you know, aesthetic reasons. Um, but either way, considering the history of influence peddling of the Biden family, considering the way that the art world is used in corrupt fashion, I think it's ridiculous that uh, these uh, names are secret. And James Comer has said that there does need to be transparency here and that this is an investigation, after all, of the president, not the president's son. He said, quote, if President Biden is compromised by deals with foreign adversaries and they are impacting his decision making, this is a threat to national security. The American people deserve transparency and accountability about the Biden family's influence peddling. We, we had the, the former national security advisor, Robert O'Brien, on the other day, and, and he said it, it is not his belief that President Biden is compromised when it comes to China. Are you so sure? Well, I don't know how anyone can say one way or the other. What we do know is that millions of dollars came into the Biden family bank accounts from China, as well as other countries, Russia, Ukraine. Uh, and uh, we don't know whether the fact that uh, Joe Biden, the Biden administration, has gone soft on China in comparison to their predecessors. We don't know if that's for legitimate policy reasons or if Joe Biden is going soft because of his family's uh, money-making activities, which have compromised him. We don't know either way, and it's up to, uh, I guess, the Oversight Committee if Joe Biden keeps on ignoring this important issue. I don't see how he can go into uh, run again in 2024 without giving a full account of all those monies. Well, with China making the moves that it's making, and if they decide to arm Russia, we may soon find out how tough this president may get with Xi Jinping. Miranda, always great to have you. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for dropping by. Thanks, John. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.